New Orleans has covered seven straight games, so as a better, you have this FOMO, right? Should I jump on mm -hmm. the betting streak? Because, hey, I see all this easy money, and it's something you have to consider because if you bet on a win streak every time, you can only lose once. But if you try to bet against it, you can lose multiple times and only win once. So that's the thing. New Orleans in a high-profile game against the defending champs, as you mentioned. New Orleans, that line has come down a little bit, but because they've covered seven straight, Jay, there's a little bit of a tax. In normal circumstances, New Orleans would probably be favored by six or six and a half, but instead it's over a touchdown because that offense has been on fire. But factor in Philadelphia's secondary being banged out, and New Orleans is the highest scoring team. And I just talked to Rex Ryan. He's going to drop some stats at the top of the hour. Okay. On countdown, basically saying that this they've been gashing teams on the ground, New Orleans, the last four games. Philly has as well. Give me New Orleans minus the seven and a half, seven in some places as well. Now, there's another streak going on, but that's a different kind. Oakland has failed to cover <laughs> five straight games. They're two and seven against the number this year. That is worse than the league, but it's important mentioning that they have the worst overall record as well because they're playing Arizona, which has two wins. And look, we know about tanking in the NFL, but let's just say it would benefit Oakland to not win this game based on that race for the draft pick. But I also think Arizona's got a respectable defense. They got their quarterback. Things are going well. I think Oakland's a mess right now. I'll lay the five as well with Arizona, which sounds crazy. A team that's last a favorite in week one, but I'll lay that many points given this situation. We all remember what we last saw, and that was Carolina looking terrible on a Thursday night game against Pittsburgh. Right. They're seven and one against the spread off a loss. They've had more than a week to sit on this one. I like where Carolina's thinking they, they can still catch New Orleans in this division. They're a playoff team. I'll lay the four with Carolina as well. So three favorites. Don't love that concept, but I think they're all good situations. And Detroit just doesn't seem like it's uh, running on all cylinders right now either.